evidently he had to be a child of the Lord. Because I don't care how fast you beg, if you're not born again, you still going to hell. You could be rich and still go to hell. It ain't what you do that causes you to go to hell. It's what you don't do. And all the Bible wants you to do is repent. See, people have a problem with repenting. Ain't no need to even quote it. Because it's the truth. Yeah. 
got a degree. Y'all know we sit here because I see this hot as hell. You cannot repair earth, hey, hot, with the hell. Because the Bible says hell is an underground grave. Hell is ten times, ten times hotter than the world is heavier. So we need to stop focusing on this heat because it's hot as hell. You ain't never been to hell, so you don't know how hot the hell is. So we got to be careful what we say. Hell is real, people. The least little thing can cause you to go to hell. Hell is real. The Bible says if you look at a man in a lustful way, you are read him in adultery. Hell can cause you to go to hell. So we got to be careful how we think, how we look, what our mouth calls us to say. Because I learned once, once the word come out, you can't do nothing about it. It's out. It's smoking. Ain't nothing you can do. Listen, listen. But let me serve you notice. Hell is not going to be like the heat you feel now. Hell is not in itself every day. The Bible says hell is a way hot than this. And if you feel like the earth is so hot, and you know you're not living right, why not try to get right? My question again, what in hell do you want? The Bible says the Lord, you already know, He don't want us to go to hell. But some of y'all want to go anyway. But some of y'all won't repent. I don't you think it's so tough that you don't have to repent. But everybody needs to repent once in a while. Now this is what hell means. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to tell you what hell means to me. Hell is hot. Each stand for hell is eternal. Because once you get in hell, you can't get out. L stand for hell is lonely. You know you're taking lonely now. Just wait till you get there. Y'all remember that song about if you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. Just wait until you get to hell. Don't, don't stop me. Don't stop. Don't stop. The other L stands for hell that's a low place. See, that's like the concept. It's a true song. Every song I hear got a meaning to it. All this stuff they playing out the way and flying all that, they ain't got no meaning because guess what? They talking about women. They, call, they talking about under women's clothes. They call the women's bees and angels and the women's love the song. But how can you love someone somebody talking about you? Because if they talk about one woman, they talk about me too, because I am a woman. But yet it's still a young folks like that. Oh, plus my man, the way my man. I'm still in that table pretty well. Freddy Cougar. <laughs> Not Freddy Cougar. Freddy Tyson. <laughs> Freddy Tyson. <laughs> Listen, Luke the man talk, they know it. Follow all night. I'm still in that young people. Ain't nothing wrong with listening to that. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. If you can listen at that and you don't get lonely and start want to do something, know you ain't married, then you don't need to listen at this. That's good. See what it is. Listen at this. Hell is a place of no return. Hell is a place without praising of God. That means if you don't praise Him now, you won't praise Him then. Because know what you're going to be doing? Hell is a place where the wicked for punishment. I already told y'all the Lord said, if my people which is called by my name humble themselves and seek God's face and turn from their wicked ways. We don't have to be wicked if we don't want to be wicked. But I don't know about y'all, but every time I look around, I go to different churches, I see people sitting up in there so mean. They talk about people so mean. They even talk about the preachers. But I may know you got to be careful what you say about a woman, a man, or God. If you don't like a person, just keep it to yourself. Because the Bible said, touch not my nose and do my prophets no harm. God will shut your mouth up when it comes down to his people. If somebody ain't doing right, pray about it. Amen. Let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to close, man. You can get do it. Y'all saw that? Y'all who saw Pastor the Christ? You never saw that? You 
no plan. You need to go get that movie. Passion of Christ. Walmart well, got his off. It's on TV and you got to pay by that movie. When it come back on? It come back on today. It come, we gonna get a free for today. It come back at 4, 4 o'clock. When, 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 this is what really got me, and I never paid this no attention until last night. And after I had stood up, I hate off. Soon as the blood and the water hit the ground, the earth went to shaking. Y'all saw the devil doing this little hot. Y'all saw it. The devil had just got defeated. That's why he was hot like that. He just had got defeated from the Lord, cause he thought that once Jesus died, he was it was over with. But he didn't know. He had to do what he had to do. Jesus didn't come down here to live forever, not on earth. He came only for 33 years to do what he had to do. And once they laid him on that cross, and he even said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. So we got to learn how to, when people come up and give them, we got to say, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. Because they know what they were doing and what they did from the beginning. Out of all that they did to Jesus, he still said, forgive them. That's a hard pill to swap. I don't know about nobody else. But the hardest part was when the mama had to watch her son go through what he went through. What mama can do this? I can't. I don't think I would have stayed there that long to watch my son go through it. You must have been. Ain't nobody we lying. Ain't nobody that perfect. Ain't nobody that good yet. Take a hand. So let you talk. Amen. But the devil got so upset when Jesus went in hell. Because he thought that hell was him. Hell don't belong to the devil. Because the devil gonna burn himself. It belongs to God. The Bible said God created good and evil. So we so frequent things don't go our way and things start acting up. Ain't nobody need that for the devil. No, the Bible said I created evil and good. So sometimes God will allow evil to come upon you just to get your attention. The Bible said when when God the Lord said when he told them to go anoint David, a minute when they anoint David, God put a evil spirit on fire. You read that? The devil didn't do that. God did that. God put an evil spirit on fire. God can do anything he want to do but play on. When God can't get you one way, he'll get you another way. So we have to be careful that either you're going to serve your mouth or you ain't going to serve it. And either you're going to get right or you're going to get left. You got a chance. Ain't nothing in hell I want. I don't want nothing from hell. Hell can't hold me. Hell probably had a position for me. But when I gave my life to Christ, hell lost it again. Every time somebody gives their life to Christ, the devil starts hollering again. He just got to defeat it one more time. Why serve a man that was trouble start, he ain't there. Why don't you serve a man that said, I'll never leave you or forsake you.
no message. So you might as well get it right now. Don't become Jesus' enemy. Well, you don't have to be at his footstool. You might as well serve it while you got a chance. Even the little kids gonna end up going to hell. Because the Bible said when you come to the knowledge of knowing what's right, a child knows if they touch some heart, that's wrong. That's too hard. Anytime a child can get ready to steal and look and see them by looking, they know what they're doing. It ain't just grown people going to hell. It's children going to hell too. The Bible says I saw the grave, small, and big. So y'all little kids, don't think y'all exempt from hell. Y'all don't exempt from hell. Hell is real. If y'all don't honor y'all mother and father, hell. When you think you're older than your mother and dad, then you want to talk like them, hell. Amen. How many really want to be 